maybe because of where you're from or who's promoting you or the outfits that backs you and all of these things. So um, talent, not always the question uh, for Nigerian boxers, but the support, mm. uh, really. So I'm just hoping that we Nigerians will not just wait till somebody succeeds That's right. before we start associating. That's right. That's right. Try, try to pu if you mm. push somebody mm. up, mm. you don't know where that person can get. That's right. Just you know, corporate bodies support these boxers, especially mm -hmm. the ones. And like I always say, good product sells itself. That's right. Make, so make a brand out of a winner. Support. You know, it's only the start that you know you don't know where it's going to head. That's right. Totally agree. Let's leave boxing now, Olawale, uh, and come to basketball. We loved it so much when D Tigers broke that record in Tunisia to yeah. win the Afro Basket uh, title for is that for the first time broke record. Today they were part of the team that that got um, the presidential award, but. As Yemi said, words in the streets, why 600,000 for these guys that were champions? Yeah, especially for players who, who, if they change this into dollars, you know, it doesn't mean anything to them. Feed to them. But um, like we've always said from the onset, I think recognition from the countries will matter. Right. Mm. Um, I also I know that these players, this uh, victorious Afro basket team, mm. were not too happy the way they got received when they won the yes, tournament. The tournament. Remember? Mm -hmm. And that they were not received. Everybody went to each um, to it, their destinations, yeah. and they thought they could have been received more. But then it was because of the African games in Congo. Yeah, yeah. The All African games yeah. was was a distraction, mm -hmm. a good distraction. The continent is stay yeah. focused. And yeah. I, I I think um, it was uh, was a good excuse. But um, six hundred thousand. I don't want to start calling it into question, just like I said, the criteria, the yardstick mm. for financial yeah. rewards. I don't want to go into that because I also know that the sports ministry must have forwarded this to the federal government. So mm. if we are able to apportion any blame, we should be looking at the sports ministry mm. and asking them, asking questions, why is this team who did this for the first time for That's Nigeria, right. Right. picking the loan tickets mm. to the Olympics, mm. saving us the agony of going, going through, through the OQT. You know, those, I would those, yeah. go and experience it. So, 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 so that, 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 that's that's my problem in here. But um, I've said it that this six hundred thousand I won't go anywhere. Hmm. But um, the truth of the matter is, um, I'm happy that those below them, that's the FIBA team, yeah. the under sixteen, got some fantastic reward for also what they did. I think in all it was a good one for the basketball federation. Yeah. Let's go to Abuja now, where D Tigers captain Olumide Uyedeji is standing by us. Pictures. Olumide, good evening and welcome to the show. Hello, good evening and hello, listeners. How's everybody doing? Okay, everybody's doing fine. You're not dunking tonight. But let me tell me, how is the basketball family taking the presidential reward uh, that was given to you guys by the president? Oh, uh, well, I mean, it was, uh, I, mean, it was, I mean, it was a great feeling and a great uh, atmosphere this morning. And uh, the team get rewarded again. Yes, uh, for you to get, for you to get recognized. I mean, it's a great feeling, and uh, for you to get appreciated for the whole team, it was a great feeling today. Mm. Well, let me say, um, August is around the corner. What's the plan? Are you guys getting ready for the Olympics? Yeah, what did you say again, please? August is around the corner. We're getting ready for the Olympics. Uh, what's going on with you guys, the team? Oh, well, right now, I mean, everybody, we're focusing and getting ready for the Olympics and um, uh, looking forward to be in the training camp and uh, try to uh, try to be a mega contender in Rio 2016. Mm. With what the president did today, are you guys fired up for that competition? <laughs> well, probably just to show like uh, the Nigerian, uh, uh, I mean the Tigers team, we are not really about the money, we are not really about uh, the circumstances around the world we're here for is to promote the image of the country. i uh, proud to be a Nigerian and uh, just to just, uh, put smiles on the faces of the all Nigerian faces and uh, to, to just uh, give all the young boys and girls a hope that uh, I mean, they can also make it and do what we're doing and do better. Olimide, thank you so much for speaking to us and all the best to thank you, you and the team. Well done. Okay, that's it. That's the spirit. It's just that Lumide was listening to us. Uh, the recognition is what matters. Uh, a pat on the back from the, from the president is like it sounds uh, downbeat. Like though. being lifted, uh, you know, by yeah. four four other men. A good the, the, one. The mood is downbeat. The mood is downbeat. So I thought they were expecting much more, um, knowing fully well the extent of what they did for the country. Mm. Uh, but um, guess what? The Olympics is there. They can make another statement. Mm. Um, they can make a huge statement because I'm so sure that you do well at the Olympics, you will be getting this. Um, because um, if you feel that this is not what you deserve, um, go out there and show them on the biggest stage that um, you, you, can, you, can, you can challenge for more. But um, 
in, 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 in all in all, I think that what the, what the message that the government has also tried to send is that they are also trying to ensure that um, playing or being successful for your country mm. doesn't also mean that you can get rich. That's right. Um, you don't have to it's, see it's that somewhere. Where, yeah, yeah. They should, they should see, you should see more as service, service. Uh, being a patriot. Mm. You'll get rewarded, but don't look forward to it. Don't make it attractive and say, if I do this, I'm going to be a millionaire. I mean, the country should take care yeah. of you while you're I know at that the, I know that the past dispensation was so much more large-hearted in terms of largesse to sportsmen and women. And that, that's where my heart goes to the Super Falcons team yeah. of 2014. Remember yeah. that they were supposed to be rewarded, but mm. they were told to wait and wait and wait. Oh, my goodness. You know, they occupied the occupied team, you know, no, 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 nothing happened. And But the, the good thing is that everybody across, but if you look at the list, everybody across board yeah. were Got rewarded. Everybody that did something Got good something. in 2015 yeah. Yeah. Uh, under the um, dispensation of the, of, of the new president. You know, bronze medalists were rewarded. Well, mm. where, bronze where, medalists. Where, um, I, I think I also agree that, you know, we, we should de-emphasize money. That's right. Um, That's right. Recognition matters, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and of, of course we should um, also put support in whatever we give to, you know, uh, these people. Speak to the ministry, speak to their federations, ensure that they get um, the support. Find a way to de-emphasize money. If, for right. instance, if you say you're giving someone scholarship, a seventeen-year-old say, "No, just give me money." <laughs> you know, we, we need to get yeah. to a level where we can. But I'm, I'm not against money. That's right. And, I mean, you, I could, mean, you could understand where you put your mood. time, you should be able to get money out yeah. of it. But yeah, I mean, let me tell you a strong message I got out of this. Odoan Yadikrui, among the top gainers, Wellington Jigere, yeah. uh, Olari Waju Duro Dola, that's other sports for you. Yeah. It's a big message that we have to also start giving attention to other sports. Yeah, yeah. we have to. Um, and, and look, even if it is um, taekwondo, gymnastic, whatever, it's the glory, the, all the glory goes to Nigeria. Mm. And, you know, football can only do so much. Mm. You know, you can't do everything. So uh, it, it just shows the phenomenal achievement. Those other sports that you talked about, wrestling, you know, uh, scrabble, those individuals that took it upon themselves mm. to go as far as they went for Nigeria. And they were, and they were duly rewarded. And I'm very sure it will spur mm. other, you know, other people in other sports to do well. Good source well. of motivation. So that's the Starry Presidential Award for Athletes in Nigeria who did well in 2015. So and let's go on a break now. Chelsea fans, listen to this. Frank Lampard believes that goose hitting can turn around the fortunes of the club, that Chelsea will never be relegated. Let's listen to the former Chelsea midfielder. And when we come back, we'll go to Washington. Sonny Young is standing by. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Obviously, no gas from working with him before, and I think he's a he's a perfect uh, manager to come in at, at difficult times because he's got a very good way about him. He'll he'll be settling the dressing room. We're trying to get the best out of the players again and get them to up their level again. So, I think uh, a perfect choice for the club considering the position they're in to bring him in. Like, he's a very good man. He deals with players very well. Um, so I'd like to think you're going to see an improvement from Chelsea now. I don't know how high up the table they can get, but I think he's going to help them. I don't think they'll get relegated. Um, I really, really can't see Chelsea getting relegated. Um, he's probably saying that there'll be some kind of thinking to him saying that. I think because he needs to let the players know where we are, where they are in the table, and um, by saying that, you're saying to them, "Come on, we're too good to be in this relegation battle," which they kind of are. But I can't see them getting relegated. I, I would, I can see them going back up to the top half of the table. I'm not sure how high because now we're we're. Sort of in January and they shouldn't be in the position they're in. I've enjoyed the experience greatly. I think I love, I love the league, I love being over here, the experience of living in America, playing the MLS. I think obviously last season didn't go as well as we would have wanted on the pitch, which is the, the big deal. That's what you, you want to go well, but I really look forward to this year because I think in, in our second year of existence, I think you're going to see a big improvement and uh, looking forward to getting going. Well, I think the league is improving and when people see that, I've watched it very closely for since you know, the early David Beckham days and you've seen the league and the quality level go up. You see the coverage that the MLS gets around the world now uh, and it's a great option for players. As I say, it's been a great challenge for me and you'll see, you're seeing the names, you can reel off the names of players that are here already. I believe in the next few years you're going to get even more big names coming from Europe and the league will carry on growing. It's great in New York. I mean, it's a, you, you do get recognised. I say, like walking down the street because of where we live in Manhattan, it's very you know touristy. You have lots of Europeans and lots of South Americans and Americans now that are really catching on. But it's certainly yes, you're more anonymous than than I would be in London, and that is that is nice. Every player or person who comes over will tell you that. Um, so it's very nice to have a, a real peaceful home life. Uh, can walk around Manhattan, enjoy it, suck it all in, um, and then enjoy doing my work in the meantime. 
So that's it, Chelsea fans. Hold on to those words from Frank Lampard. Always a Blues fan. Uh, he says, don't worry. Uh, Lucidin can, can turn things around.